Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, everyone. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi How are you all? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, mashallah. So uh, let's start with the ta'ud and tasmiya, please. And the starting dua, yes? All together, we will read together slowly, yeah, inshallah. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Come on everyone we'll we'll read together because you by now you, you all know by heart A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Let's get started. Today I didn't do any uh, I spy questions. Why? Because we will be doing some revision. Yeah? From our book. So I thought it's no point doing more questions uh, because I spy, ask I spy questions, I mainly get it from the textbook anyway. Okay? So today's lesson will be reading uh, Surah An-Naba. And last week we did Surah An-Nazia. And I asked ask you to do the homework question number 14 so could you all please open your arabic book jazamma book page 91 yeah okay All right, so page 91, complete the Arabic words to their English meanings. So uh, first letter is Wahidatun, Wahidatun. Anyone knows what is Wahidatun? Yes, Alia? One. One, mashallah. Wahidatun is one. So everyone, if you haven't done it, what you can do, first row of Arabic letter, put numbers, one, two, three, four, five, six, up to 11, quickly with a pencil. All right, Safa, Diana? Yeah, so you can number them. Yeah, and then when we find the meaning of the English, you can put uh, the, the correct number. So you know what, if it's Wahidatun is one, but in English meaning it's in the third place. So if by putting one and one, so you know. It matches instead of putting line or you can do lines it's up to you yeah uh, clear everyone yes okay hadithu what is hadithu amir what is hadithu a story 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 okay <laughs> it is uh, two letter two the meaning is story hadithu Story. And next one is Al Mukaddasi. Al Mukaddasi Aiza. The sacred. Al Mukaddasi. Sacred. Yeah, the sacred. So Al Mukaddasi is sacred. The sacred. Okay. And Ar Rajifatu. Ar Rajifatu. What is Ar Rajifatu? Anyone? No? 
Okay, so we will find the Rajivatu afterwards. So let's go the ones you've, you've already found it. Absaru. Absaru is? Yes, Alia. Alia, unmute yourself. Quake. Yeah, quake. Okay. And? Qashiatun. Qashiatun is? Anyone? Daniel, what is Qashiatun? Do you know? Number six is? Qashiatun is? Humble. Okay, so bring forth. Khashiatun is bring forth, meaning humble. Okay? And next one is Al Ayata. Al Ayata. Anyone? Zayan? Okay, Alia. Alias go Al Ayata. Yeah, what is Al Ayata? Signs. Yeah, signs. Signs, okay? Signs meaning not signs, what we study. Signs means the sign, sign of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, those signs. And then, Yaksha. Yaksha is, what is Yaksha? Anyone? This is it fears? Fears, yes. Well done. Okay, and Al Hayat Hayat. Yes, Zayan. Uh the life. The life, yes. So Al Hayat is quite similar to our languages, isn't it? Hayat. Hayat. Yeah, the life. And Al Jahima. Al Jahima, yes, Aiza. The hell? The hell, yes. Al Jahima is the hell. Okay, and we have Akhraja. So Akhraja. Anyone? What is Akhraja? Miss, is it down cost? It might be down cost or gaze. Okay, I'm not sure. Let me find out. Akhraja. Okay, it's in Surah an naziat isn't it? Yaksha ala. Yaksha ala. Akhraja. Okay, let me find out and then I will tell you. But well done, everyone. Okay, so next we will be doing Surah Naba. And while I find these two um, meaning of the word for you, and Naziat, inshallah. Okay, so please open your um, Jazuma book, page 92. So well done everyone. We have completed all the Arabic words. Mashallah. So let's go to our today's topic and our today's surah mm -hmm. is Surah An Naba. And Alhamdulillah, this is the last chapter of our book. And we are today is our last day of the class. So we made it. Yes, well done everyone. You guys work really hard all the year through. Okay. Very proud of you all. Okay, so page number 92, Surah An Naba. So let's find out what is Surah An Naba is about. Okay, Zayan, would you like to read the summary? Okay, I can't see. Yeah, it's in your book. Review summary. 
Okay. Entire juz or the 30th part of the Quran known as the Juzamma. The name of this juz is based on the first word Amma mentioned in the first ayah. The surah begins by asking. by asking what the disbelievers inquiring were inquiring about. They were inquiring about the possibility of the awakening, but deep in their hearts, and they denied it. The surah then lists a number of Allah's marvelous creations to demonstrate that if Allah can create all of these, He can easily cause the awakening. The, next, the surah narrates how the awakening would happen. The purpose of the hereafter is to reward or punish people according to their deeds on earth. This is a graphic description on the conditions of sinners and righteous people. Okay. Thank you. So then, after the pointing out that only one, only an intelligent being could have designed everything, so perfectly. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turned the argument towards the punishment or reward we call, we can all expect in the next life, which is as real as wonders of the natural world. He closes the surah with the call to ponder the last day and what will happen. All right. So we will inshallah read uh, about 15 to 20 ayah and probably meaning the whole uh, surah meaning. Yeah, and then we go to our revision, inshallah. Okay, so. Okay. Zayan, would you like to read, please, for me? Okay. Do I read the English? The Arabic, please. Okay. 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 والجبال أوتادا وخلقناكم أزواجا وجعلنا نومكم سباتا سباتا وجعلنا الليل لباسا Okay, well done. MashaAllah. So let's um, read the meaning now everyone. Okay. Aiza. Up to ayah five, please. Then we'll talk about it, inshallah. Okay. About what are they inquiring about the great news that over which they are in disagreement? Nay, they shall soon know. Then nay, they shall soon know. Okay. So soon learn. So they they are. It means the meaning what they are asking about. They are asking about the day of judgment, the great terrifying news. Yeah. So this surah is about the. Prophecy meaning what is going to happen in the future, yeah? So the day of judgment is happening in the future, isn't it? Because we don't know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows only, yeah? So me, uh, about what are they asking on one another about the great news? Meaning what are they asking about? They are asking about the day of judgment, the great terrifying news, yeah? And people are divided. The second ayah is people are divided about it. Some believe in it and others do not. So exactly, so Muslims believe there is gonna be a day of judgment, don't we? We all believe that. But disbelievers thinks no, there's nothing, no life after death, okay? So this is a severe warning to the askers. Okay, Allah made the earth a stable and suitable place for life, yeah? Okay, next, please, uh, Zaria, if you could read from Ayah uh, 6, the meaning. Um, have we not made the earth a resting place and the mountains as stakes? And have we 
created you as pairs and we have made you sleep uh, a, a means for rest and we have made the night as a covering and we have made the day for livelihood okay so it means allah created uh, created uh, beings male and female yeah so allah has created us in pairs didn't he everyone unmute yourself yeah so it means like allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has create, created uh, human beings as a male and female and yeah Sleep has been made as an ending to your movement during the day to attain some rest. That's what he's saying in the ayah, so six, seven, eight, and nine. All right? The night covers people with darkness. Yeah, we made the night for covering up, meaning the night covers people with its darkness. Allah illuminated the day so that people may manage their issues during it and move about trying to make a living. Subhanallah. See, Allah, Allah, only Allah can plan these things. No one else can. Do you think we can bring night now, four o'clock? No, nobody can. Only the appointed time will be. The, when Allah decides this is night, this is day, this is what, when it happens. We can make the day into night and we can turn night into day. All right, so let's, and then, uh, yeah, Allah illuminated the day and during they were trying to make a living. Next, please. Um, Zayan, would you like to read the Arabic again, please? Okay. in a yom mal fasli kana ni kota yom a yon fahu fisu li fatu nu of waja. Okay, stop here, inshallah. Okay, so Aiza, would you like to read uh, three ayah, please? The meaning. And we have built above you seven strong heavens, and we have made a bright blazing lamp. And we have sent down from the rain clouds abundant water. Yes, okay. So it means that what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying, the sky is constituted of seven vast highs. So we all know the seven seven skies, isn't it? Yes. High and well knit and sun which gives light to the world. So if Allah decide in the morning there shouldn't be any sun, do you know what is going to happen to us? It's going to be dark. Nobody will be able to do anything. Yeah. So Allah is saying, so Allah didn't Allah give isn't Allah giving you the sun in the morning and light to the world? Yeah. And Al Musirat are the rain clouds, okay? Where it says al-musirat, al-musirat is the rain cloud pouring water, means, in, yeah? Incessant heavy rain, yeah? Habba, habba meaning refers to the grain preserved as food for humans and cattle. Anbata means green vegeta vegetation and is eaten fresh. They are al-fafafa, meaning they are thick and foliage. Allah stated that the day of resurrection is already fixed and will come at its appointed time. No one knows its exact time except Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. And people will approach in crowds, doors and gateways for the angels to descend. So we all know what's going to happen on the day of judgment. To blast, yeah, will be heard. And then everybody will be awake and everybody will be gathered together. Yeah. And the good deed, bad deed, everything will happen on that day. 
yeah inshallah so alhamdulillah we have done half of the surah an naba inshallah we will continue again soon when we start in september yeah so may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep every one of us healthy and we meet again in september to complete the chapter but anyway we have finished the book that is really good news mashallah so as um, i promised we will go through some revision questions so you are really really well prepared for the exams next week inshallah so alhamdulillah everyone really uh, good mashallah so for our revision let's do islamic studies question first yeah so as i said we will be needing our islamic studies book everyone and not all the um, chapters some chapters so this way you know what the questions will be like inshallah okay i was going to do in um, slide but then again i thought because you guys are older you will understand inshallah say for example uh, if i say the power of the quran is symbolic explained in ayah okay a quranic ayah won't be because you won't have your quran with you so we will have questions like in which year the final revelation was sent to nabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam for example a b c d in a 625 b 632 c 630 d 635 so you will just have to know the correct year and circle okay so at the moment we are in chapter uh, sorry we are in completion of the quran okay so if you want to open your uh, open in your book the completion of the quran week week 4 weekend 4 Okay. Yeah. So if you go to question number six, yeah. So exactly, it's going to be designed like this: a question, and then wrong three wrong questions, and one correct one, and then you'll just have to write A, B, C, or D. Okay, Daniel. Do you understand how we did in in? Our, remember how we did our first assessment? You just have to put a circle. but because in here i am not giving you the exam paper what you can do you can uh, message me yeah okay in that case i will let you know whether you can message me or you can write and then you can email me so i have to uh, discuss with sister nazish is aiza with us okay sorry i didn't see you <laughs> you are <laughs> you are bending down okay So do you understand for example next one number 8 who is the ultimate guardian of the Quran and meet yourself everybody you don't have to wait put your hand up you can just shout out your answer this is revision allah. allah okay so who is the ultimate guardian of the Quran allah so that may, the question will, will be laid out like angels muhammad yeah khalifa allah so you know the right answer just to us that letter okay and at the time of uthman radiyallahu anhu, anhu uh, how did they make several copies of the quran they copied by hand copied by hand so everyone else level 7 8 uh, 9 8 please uh, remember because this is very simple you all will know inshallah so let's go to we can Seven. Yeah. The importance of shahada. Okay. Okay. So the importance of shahada. Ten seven. Yeah. So, for example. by declaring shahada what do we free ourselves from we uh, 
We free ourselves from the evil clutches of the people who rule us physically, religiously, financially, and intellectually. And also we become Muslim. If anybody uh, say the Shahada, if they want to become Muslim, they have to say the Shahada. So you can uh, say that as well. Okay, inshallah. So if the question will be like this, yeah? And there will be a true and false question. So next is uh, lesson nine, okay? Go to weekend nine. Okay, weekend nine. Uh, okay. Or uh, we can 10, please, because I'm going to get only six, seven questions from your Islamic studies. So I might get one from each chapter. Okay. So when Nuh alayhi salam, yeah. Was building an ark. All the people, uh, what did they call him? A madman. A madman. Mad. Mad. Yeah. Mad. He's probably been possessed by jinn. Yeah, they thought he's gone crazy. So, a question will be very simple. What were the villagers or the people, the leaders, uh, what were they calling Nuh salam when he was uh, building an ark in the dry land? So you just need to write down madman or probably he was possessed by the jinn, like that, okay? So everyone will know. Okay. When the Nuh uh, taught Allah's uh, messenger to his people, who opposed him the most? The leaders. The leaders. The leaders. Because they thought the people will become Muslims and they will become weak or for some reason, even uh, till today, you see uh, these things anyway. So if we go to Talut and Jalut, weekend 11. Okay. Where were the Israelites lived at the time of Talut? Number 10. Canaan. Canaan. Okay. His biblical name is Saul. What is his name mentioned in the Quran? Talut. Talut. Well done, everyone. Okay, next chapter, quickly. Daud and Sulaiman alayhi salam. So as I said, I probably get one question from Daud alayhi salam and Sulaiman alayhi salam, one question from Musa alayhi salam, one question from... Uh, Yusuf alayhi salam. Yeah? Okay. Oh, weekend 12. Yeah, why did Suleiman alayhi salam, wh what did Suleiman alayhi salam do when he received gifts from the Queen of Sheba? Number five. He refused to accept them. He refused to accept it. He didn't keep her uh, gifts. Okay. Dawud alayhi salam knew how to melt two metals, as mentioned in the Quran. What were the two metals? We did that. Copper and iron. Copper and iron. Okay, Zayan? Tafa? Where's Zaria? Oh, Zaria's here. Habiba is here now. Diana, can you hear me? Oh. Yeah. So please, you can write the question and answer, and you can uh, go through your book, yeah? So as I said, it's going to be really fun, because we did so many I spy questions every single day, as if like you did test every single day. So that is the reason why we're not making it so difficult, not getting 20 questions. Usually we get 20 questions, don't we, in class when we have assessment. But since we started the Zoom, we had the I spy questions seven, eight, ten every single day. So you all um, did really well. Okay, Alhamdulillah. So number ten, during Sulaiman Alayhi Salam's rule, he conquered several countries. 
Identify a country mentioned in the lesson. Sheba. Sheba. Well done. Okay, let's go to weekend 13. Weekend 13. When two, uh, two signs Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave to Musa alayhi salam when he was appointed as a messenger, what two signs? A rod turned to a snake and turned turn 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 white. Into white. We had that one in ice spy question also. So well done. So what two things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave Musa alayhi salam when he was appointed as a messenger, a rod turning into snake and a hand turning into white. Well done, everyone. Uh, at what time of day Musa alayhi salam led the Israelite out of Egypt? At what time of that day did Firaun chase after them and they try to capture them? Night and then First one is the night and then the second one is morning. Second one is the morning. Well done. Musa and Khidir. Next. That was really nice, interesting story. Okay. What did Musa alayhi salam, why did Musa alayhi salam went to travel with Khidir? Why? To gain knowledge. To gain knowledge because Khidir is, is really, was really intelligent and knowledgeable, isn't it? Okay, to gain knowledge, okay? Why did uh, Khidir kill the boy? The boy would grow up and hurt his parents. Parents, because Khidir knew before. Yeah, okay. And every time um, Khidir did something, Musa alayhi salam got angry. And then um, Khidir said, what did he say to uh, Musa alayhi salam? Anyone remember? He said that I told you, 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 uh, you can't be patient enough with me. And then Musa said, no, 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 it's okay. Yeah, do you remember the story, everyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, what explanation did Khidir give for the damaging the boat? The king would take all the good boats, but not the bad boats. So he made one of the good boats a little hole, thinking that the when the king comes, he will take the, all the good ones, but he won't take this one, therefore he made a hole. Very clever. Okay. What two things was Musa alayhi salam's required to do in order to travel with Khidir? What two things he said, you ha if you want to travel with me, you have to have these two things. What two things were they? Patience and not to ask questions. Patience and not to ask questions. So every time, first, when uh, Khidir made a hole to the boat, Musa alayhi salam asked questions but he wasn't meant to, yeah? Remember? Then he said, no, you have to be patient. I have a reason. And then uh, three uh, incidents happens, okay? During his trouble with Khidir, what quality Musa alayhi salam was required to show? Patience. Patience. Because he was not to ask any question. No matter what Khidir did, Musa alayhi salam was not allowed to ask any questions. All right. So... Under what condition could they agree to let Musa Salam travel with him? Musa would not ask any questions. Even before they traveled, Khidir made uh, Musa Salam to say to him that, I will not ask you any questions. That was their uh, agreement. But still, you know, if somebody does something, you tend to ask, don't you? We cannot stop ourselves. But we have to be patient enough. If somebody says something to us, then we have to have our full patience. Okay, what was, uh, what was buried underneath the wall that Khidir and Musa alayhi salam repaired? The treasure of the two orphans? Gold. Yes, the treasure of two orphans. Okay, next is uh, Isa and Maryam alayhi salam. And then we'll go to our um, Juzamma, inshallah, because we are short of time. Okay, so mainly I will be getting questions from these chapters, probably one each or two each, okay? Okay, which book did Isa alayhi salam confirm? Isa alayhi salam, which book? There's four books, remember? Anyone? Yeah. Um. Taurat. Okay, Isa alayhi salam foretold the arrivals of which Rasul? Isa alayhi salam said, which, which Rasul is coming? 
Was it Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Allahu alaihi wasallam. Okay. All right. Next one is for which community Allah subhanahu wa taala appointed Isa alaihi wasallam as a rasul? Bani Israel. Bani Israel. For the children of Israel. Oh yeah. During the birth of Isa alaihi wasallam, what fruit Allah subhanahu wa taala asked his mother to eat? Dates. 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 Yeah, so it's a sunnah when a pregnant woman is giving delivery, they should have dates, it gives them energy. Yeah, and we all should have dates. Dates have so much energy and iron. Okay, so please uh, have dates. It's sweet and tasty. Mm. Okay, so well done, everybody. And maybe I will get one or two questions from the Surah Nafs. Yeah, uh, sorry, chapter nafs, you know, three nafs, three stages of nafs. Okay, inshallah, well done. So let's go through some questions from our Juzumma. So first chapter, Surah Alak. Okay, so please, levels uh, seven and eight, please uh, take part. Unmute yourself, everybody. And Juzumma book, uh, page seven. Okay. Where were the first five ayah of Surah Al Alaq revealed? Yes, Zaria. Cave here. Yes. In the cave here, Jabal and Nur. Yeah? Okay. Or you can say in the cave here. In which year was the first five ayah of Surah Al Alaq revealed? 610 CE. Yeah, 610 CE. You can all say at the same time, no worries. Okay? So you all can read yourself, please. Which month was the first five ayah of Surah al alaq revealed? Ramadan. 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 Okay. What is the first Arabic word of the first revelation? Ikra. It means read. It means read. read. Okay. So any questions, any one of you? That was for everybody. If you miss out any questions, this is your chance to write it down quickly. All right. In the first ayah, Surah Al Alaq, who is mentioned? Allah SWT. Allah SWT. So, Rabb is Allah. Surah Al Alaq mentioned a special tool. Which is this tool? Pen. 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 Well done, everybody. Pen. Okay. So, Go to question number eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Or you, if you're doing it on Saturday, you can just do T or false. Okay. So Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala is the Rab who created everything. True or false? True. True. Man taught Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala everything with the pen. False. Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala taught every, everyone. So it's a false. People often think they are self-sufficient. True. We always think like that, don't we? People must know that to their right is the final return. True. 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 Okay. Forelock is a part of our knees. False. Forelock is a part of our knees. False. 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 Okay. And. Surah Al Alaq was the last revealed to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. False. Surah Al Alaq was the last surah. Okay. Surah Al Alaq was revealed in a night in the Ramadan. True. 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 Okay. So, so you can see some of the questions will be under one. There will be three, four. And you just have to say true or false. Okay, so it will be written there. You just need to figure it out, yeah, if it's true or false. Okay. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the dash of the day of judgment. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the master. Master. master of the day of judgment. Next is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the Lord of all the, the world. world, of course, universe. 
those who do not walk on the straight path on anger. anger. The message of Surah Al-Fatiha is to seek help. 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 Well done, everybody. Okay. What is Al-Akramu? Al is the, mo the most, most generous. Most generous. Khalaq. Created. 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 Yes, means created. Who created everything, okay? Al Huda. Um, guidance. 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 Nasia. Hula. 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 Well done, everybody. So, next is number 95, okay? Why is human being superior to other creations? We did that uh, in our I spy question. Because Allah gave humans will to do anything. Yeah, and also Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created human beings in the best form. We are the best creation in the world. Not, nothing else is better than a uh, human being. Okay? Human beings are the best form. Okay? Who are the people that will not be brought down to the lowest of the law. There's people who do good deeds. People who write his deeds. Who do not do good deeds. Okay? Who are the people that will not be brought down to the lowest of the law? People who do good deeds. The deeds. And will be brought down to the lowest of the law. What is the significance of the fig and the olive in the beginning of the surah? Uh, so the first by humans happened because of eating the fruit. So what is thin and zaitun? What is thin? Anyone? Fig. Thin. Thin is fig. And fig is the heavenly uh, fruit. So you should, all should have thin. Okay. And zaitun is olive. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala swear by four things in the surah. What are the four things? The fig, olive, olive mountain, Sinai, and the safe town. Fig, okay. olive, Mount Sinai, and? The safe town. Safe town. Okay. Okay, with which messenger the Mount Sinai is often related in the Quran? Musa Who is Ahkamul Hakimin? Well done, everyone. So, as we have only 10 minutes, we won't be able to finish the whole surah. So, let's go to page. Okay, let's go to page, uh, okay, page 64, please. Okay, number five, in order to meet their rab, what type of work must everyone do? Select the best choice based in the Surah al Shikak. He must write a book, he must remain joyful with his family, he must disbelieve in accounting, he must work hard. Which one is it? In order to meet the um, rub. He must um, work hard. Yeah, he must work hard. It sounds like he must work hard, meaning it's not only working, you have to work because now look, you guys are here. Yeah, you made an effort. You're sitting here with me yeah, for one hour, learning about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is hard work, so you're getting reward. Yeah, This one hour, today's one hour, will be put in the... So this is work hard mean, uh, working in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, making time to read Quran, doing a halal job, earning halal money, spending time with your family, when you're married, your husband, wife, your children. So everything, you have to work hard to maintain everything. Yeah. Otherwise you'll be sleeping all day and awake and all night. You cannot choose to do that because you have to balance your life. To do that, 
you have to really work hard. Yeah? All right. We will be given our good deed in the day of judgment. Yes? Which hand? The good deed will be given. Right hand. Right hand. Well done, everybody. Okay. So, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, you guys all did really well. Yeah. So I hope it will be resolved and there won't be many questions. There will be about maximum 12 questions I will uh, design here yeah, for both subjects. Why? Because we are doing every single day I spy questions and you guys are uh, doing really well, getting all the questions correct. Yeah, and I'm really proud. Alhamdulillah. Yeah. So anyone has any questions? Okay. So please make sure you uh made. it's better to keep pen pencil and a paper yeah and when we are doing the assessment please do not speak to anybody do not message anybody amongst yourself and you're not allowed to look at the books you're not allowed to ask your parents so it's best if your parents doesn't stay with you when you do the assessment okay all right so we have to think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our witness. He can see everything. So we have to give our best shot. And this is only an assessment. And I am pretty sure you all will do well, inshallah. Yeah? So well done, everyone. OK. So let's finish the um, class with our usual dua, the end dua, inshallah. OK? And please tell your parents to look out for the emails and book the assessment uh, sorry assessment slot. Okay, let's read the dua. Please do not leave now. Subhanakallahumma. <laughs> So we'll see you all inshallah next Saturday. Be on time. Yeah. So it will be first half an hour. So not first half an hour exactly when you come. It will be five, ten minutes and then we'll start. So each question probably you will get two, three minutes. Yeah. Inshallah. And Sister Nazi should be with us as well because she'll be taking, keeping all the record of your mark while I uh, read out the question to you. Inshallah. And I will also do that. Yeah. So make sure you can hear me properly. Get your head, uh, if you're using headphone, get everything sorted beforehand. Inshallah. Okay, Daniel. And Daniel, if you don't understand any questions, you can ask me. Put your hand up and tell me, Miss, can you read it for me again and again? Yes. And mommy can be, uh, she can sit with you, but she's not allowed to give you um, the answers. That's, that's only exceptional for Daniel. So everybody else, your parents are not allowed to sit with you while you do the assessment. Okay? Inshallah. So well done. Yes. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, everyone. Wa alaikum Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz.